loop line here, and I want to go over the rapid indexer add-on. So if you don't have the add-on installed, you can go to add-ons, show available add-ons. When it loads the list, you just find the rapid indexer and click install. Once it's done, we're going to launch it up here from the add-ons menu, but the rapid indexer uses a list of indexer sites. Now you can go online, jump over to Google, and type in Scrapebox Rapid Indexer List and come back with thousands and thousands of URLs and lists that are all free all over the place. But there's a starter list if you click on Rapid Indexer here. And go here, click here to download a small list of indexing sources to get you started. Pretty basic, I downloaded the list that looks like this. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Once it's done, we need to load up the list, or the indexer add-on rather. When that loads, we can see some immediate things such as connections where we can set our connections pretty basic. Then we need to load our websites, which is going to be the sites we're promoting, and the indexer services list, which is the list we download or create. Uh, and then we have run and export and that sort of thing. So the indexer service list looks like this. For instance, here we go, who is domaintools.com forward slash, and then you have this website token here. That is where your website is going to be put and then the rapid indexer will work on creating that page for you so the way it works is like this we have a list here that you can see is pretty long and i'm just going to go here let's get a count on this real quick and there's 2500 actual URLs here in this list it looks like just from jumping in there so let's go back to the add-on here and I'm gonna put that list here at indexer services I can click on it and I can load it if I want or I can just go here and I'm just gonna paste it in and hit apply now 2507 here you can see popped up as far as my sites the way it works is if I do this and punch in a site here and hit apply so I have my one site that is websites one services 2507 so it's going to basically send out 2507 requests to create these and you can see as it brought it in here it added my website to the end here now if I put in two sites so say I just put in just something else here I have two websites and 2,507 requests. So that basically multiplies that. So you get two websites times 2,507 total websites. So I'm actually going to have, and you can see this, these down here, a grand total of 5,014 requests that are sent, which is two times 2,507. If I load in 10 sites, it's going to send a grand total of 25,070 requests. The maximum number of requests that you can send is just over a million. If you try to load in an index or service list that is 100,000 URLs here of index or service sites and then turn around and load in 10 of your own sites, 10 times 100,000 index or service list is a million requests. That's about the cap. It's slightly over a million that you can send. So if I load in, if I go download me a list of 100,000 sites, from Google that are indexed to service sites and I load in a hundred of my own sites a hundred of my own sites times a hundred thousand is going to be ten million requests when you try to do that the add-on will give you an error and it will crash because it can't send more than a million requests because you have memory issues and other things so it just caps it off at a million requests um, and moves on so you have to keep that in mind if you get the error that's how it works. So basically the really easy way to do is just pop open your calculator and do some simple multiplication or division. Uh, you take the number of sites you want to promote or the number of index or services and then divide that by the sites you want to promote and get yourself a working number that's less than a million. If you're already working with something like the starter list less than a million, pretty basic, don't even worry about it. Got myself 20 connections here. When I hit start, you can see it going through here and it sends out those ping requests. Uh, and it's hitting up those indexer sites and running through there and we've got different errors you know 404 completed etc so pretty basic stuff and then when it's done we get some nice export options so we can export this and save it off as a file and that sort of thing so pretty basic the rapid indexer just load in your sites load in your indexer service list and hit start walk away and let it do its thing and create some links for you and that is how the rapid indexer add-on works